Hey crew, today we're starting uh, Guilt, a uh, neat little survival horror game that recently got ported to the, uh, you know, the, the Xbox and PlayStation and all that from uh, from Stadia. It was a Stadia exclusive, but now it's on like pretty much everything. I even think I think it's on Steam. I'm, I'm not sure, but I really enjoy it. It's been over a Let's get into now. it. Sorry, I'm doing something. All right, let's go. Putting up missing posters. Looks like a girl's name is Emily Kaufman that we're looking for. We play as Sally Kaufman, her, her cousin. Just vanished one day. No one knows why. Most people lost hope after a few weeks. They just stopped looking. Mm -hmm. That's weird. But I'm not giving up. I need to find her. I have to. We must. We shall. Hey, Sally! You still looking for your cousin? <laughs> What'd you do to her? It was very loud music. Let's see if we get turned that down. Yeah, I got hit with uh, another copyright claim a little while ago. I seriously underestimate how often the algorithm pi algorithm picks up on music and stuff. So we'll do that. He's on with the game. Inhalers will be our health items in this. Good. Sally, you know you're here. You're very creepy. You can't hide from us. Actually, I can. The cable car. I should be able to take that home. The station's not too far. I just hope it's still open. Oh my gosh, please leave me alone. Are you gonna disappear too? Oof, too soon, bro. Rude. Alright, so we get across those. There was a trophy for walking along those planks, not stepping in the water. I didn't. I didn't know it. I just uh, did it anyway because I didn't think you could not walk on the planks. But I guess you can. So I don't know. Just some. Uh, just some factoids for you. <laughs> Stay on the planks if you want that trophy. If you play this, you should though. These, this is one of those games where I highly recommend fans of like survival horror games. Give it a look. It's pretty neat. Got sort of like a Silent Hill or Resident Evil light kind of vibe. Whoa! Alright. One. Gotta go up these stairs. Okay, uh, we're at some sort of the uh, cable car station. Can you help me, please? I need to take the cable car home. It's late. You're lucky I'm still here. I'll send you down. Just grab a ticket. Why can't you just let me in? It's important, little girl. You can't important. ride without a ticket. <sighs> okay, okay. Capitalism. 
Am I right? You have to pay to ride the cable car? Ridiculous. Of course, we don't pay for the ticket. It's just, uh, it's just there. Cable car ticket. It's a ticket for the cable car, but it doesn't look right. It's rough and porous, almost like it's made of dirt. That's weird. There was a ticket just sitting there. Whatever. I guess it's free. You're weird. Oh, hey, he's gone. Hmm. Did he just leave? Spooky. Things are getting spooky already. Creepy old men. Dirt tickets. What's next? A cable car that moves on its own? Oh no. My worst nightmares come true. Spooky, scary cable car ride. Just like in the Langoliers. <gasps> Guilt. But that's... That's the name of the game. That would make that a title card. Some people would, uh... Would ding that for a sin. Some idiots. No, your main suit. character, you'll be. It wasn't gonna crash. You have that thick plot armor protects all of the main characters. No, no skipping. Who left a flashlight here? Well, finders keepers. Trying I guess. to think of a main character that didn't have plot armor. Because I mean, obviously you're character has to be able to survive for you to play the game but uh maybe that guy in the beginning of dead space 3 spoilers 1 hot second i got to check something okay thing checked continuing sprinting consumes stamina gosh yeah, you never get to upgrade your stamina or your health, so you kind of just have to stick with that short burst sort of sprinting. Like this. But I do like how they kind of explain that that she has she has asthma, so that's why inhalers What's are your healing item. Here? And you also can't sprint a whole lot, so which is fine, because it makes it even spookier. What's going on here? Bethelwood? No police, no firemen, no ambulances? Did everyone just leave or what? They probably did. They just left you here. Everyone's gone. Bethelwoods, the local newspaper. Looking around. 57. What? Was there an earthquake? <gasps> A very silent hill of them. The roads are caved out. Ridiculous. But yeah, not too long ago, I just got done with the, uh, the playthrough for getting through without killing any of the monsters, so uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to destroy them to our heart's content. No fear. school for over a month what a mystery door oh, locked of course now what maybe there's a key in the janitor's office 
which I assume it's this other lit up door. Confirmed. Janitor's office. Very dirty. I would think it would be the cleanest area in the whole campus because it's where the janitor hangs out. Shows how much I know. Okay. the main door. Be cool if you got that text off the screen. White aura. The monster is suspicious but Sally is undetected. Yellow, time to hide. A monster said something and we'll move to investigate the area. Red, Sally has been discovered. There's more of those monsters. I, I've got to stay away from them. Do, do, do. Sneaky, sneaky. We don't have a means of defending ourselves just yet. Which means the game is going to be extra nice to us to make sure that we don't just get completely destroyed by monsters yet. But once we get a means of defending ourselves, that's when all, all hope is lost. On here. Mischievous things. Shenanigans. Rock. These eyeballs are spooky. Hello, eyeballs. You are creepy. Alright, let's move on. I don't have the way to get rid of those just yet, but. Very resident Emily. evil of them. There's things in your way. You have to get tools to progress, keys, all that sort of thing. Very, very uh, classic survival horror esque. You know, without the classic pot. Get the inhaler. I'm gonna heal up. Let's stay topped off. Why not? It's not like this game doesn't give you way too many healing items or anything. What's that rattling noise? It's really weird. Monster detection. A silhouette of Sally will appear at the mons at the place where the monsters have sensed something. Be careful. I will go there to investigate. Yeah, it's kind of a dark game too, so I'm gonna try to use the flashlight as often as I can get away with it. But we have to be careful because we can't fight back just yet. Change. Turn around. Turn around again. Do it. There we go. Monsters are attracted to the flashlight. Can we use to bait them while hiding. Yeah, I tried that a couple times in past playthroughs. It's not always completely reliable, so we're not going to do that. I'm just going to wait it out. Pathetic loser. Everything looks different, but some things never change. Like war. Steam bad, steam hurt. So we're gonna go around it. Except I can't yet. I have to turn it off. The first puzzle. Good. 
Oh, get down from there, you silly girl. My goodness. Emily vanishes. And the day she shows up again, all these monsters come with her. Whee. What does this all mean? It means... Yeah, to get the best ending, we gotta save these rock people. Which I'll, I'll try to collect all the blood quartz and, and do that. Oh, we got ticket fragment. Ticket fragment looks like a piece of a cable car ticket, but it's old and worn out. It may crumble to dust at any moment. Oh, did, did I not read the... Okay, Bach, first day at Bachman's school. I don't like it here. I miss my home and all my old friends. I see my cousin in the hall sometimes, but she's in another class. So most of the time, I'm all alone. It looks like everyone else has friends to talk to. I don't know when I should say hi. Maybe I should have done it before, and now it's too late. My teacher made me tell the class my name in front of everyone, but I was so scared I couldn't speak. After that, he sent me to my desk. When I looked up, everyone was staring at me, but I think they were smiling too. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Maybe I can make some new friends. This is clearly uh, Emily's diary, I guess. Never ending war. Only good at killing. I know that's how they see me. They are not wrong, you know. I'm good. I'm pretty dang good at killing. Maybe it's the only thing I'm good for. Uh, they didn't want me here, of course they didn't. Why would they? And I can't blame them. This is a quiet, peaceful town, and I, I'm not a religious person, but I know that the devil is real. I've seen it. He whispers in my ear every single night, driving me crazy. He makes me think of all my friends, the ones that didn't come back from the war. He tells me that I will never find peace, that I'll never be like these people, that war will find me. He was right all along. I was so afraid, so afraid of losing my mind, of not being myself anymore. I was terrified. I kept hoarding all those guns in my garage, and I thought, You're losing it, pal. You've lost your freaking mind back there. In that cursed place where you lost everything else. Your friends, your humanity. That's the devil's... That's the devil voice whispering in my ear. Every day, every hour. Every second. What is this? This is clearly not Emily's diary. It's just... Whatever. I have this ticket here. I was planning on using it and leave this town for good, but I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm so glad. I'm not afraid anymore. Hell no. Not now that I finally know that everything that I've done in my life was meant for something. The monsters are here. They reek of blood and gunpowder. They've wrecked the whole town. I'm ready to fight. Now I'm finally free to do the thing that I'm good at. The devil in my mind is smiling. My old friends, they are all here with me. Their eyes bright and green. They see everything. And they are proud of me. Of course they are. I'm going to fulfill my destiny. That's very, like, pointless note. Like, I get it. That's someone else's perspective of this place. It's really long and kind of just out of place. It's another strange book. Another one. A day at the hospital. We're at the hospital today. We always come here. Every time my grandpa gets sick, it's so quiet and I'm not allowed to run in the hallways. I can hear mom and dad arguing a lot even though they're whispering. They say we can't stay here once it's all over. I don't know what they mean by that. They say we have to move. That there's nothing keeping us here once he's gone. I don't understand. He's going to get better. Mom says we're going to move to Bethelwood, where my aunt lives. Hey, that that one sounds like Emily again. So we'll just have to, I guess, figure it out with each note, I suppose. These monsters are everywhere. What are everywhere. they? Everywhere. What do they want? Skittles. My uh, best guess would be they want Skittles. I'm just gonna skip by him. No big deal. Oh, creepy creaking noises. Turn around. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with these guys eventually. 
making getting around a little bit more annoying than it needs to be. We get the Sweet. inhaler. Get us a soda can. Oh. Hold L2 and throw R2 and throw the can. Okay, we're all right. The sound distracted by monsters. There's a key. Ooh, we got a key. Heck yeah, dude. This key should open any door in the hallway. Nice. Oh. Oh, there's a bad guy in here. Uh oh. He. You might have seen me. All right, let's uh, we'll deal with him in the next episode. Tune in to find out if I die or I survive. See you there.